Roswell Flight Test Crew here, back at the first annual Multi-Rotor Challenge. We just want to take a few minutes and show you some of the incredibly cool things we found here. So I can actually turn the copter upside down and it'll fly upwards. So basically it's a 3D quadcopter, now not just a one axis up and down. Basically, what we have here is a reversible uh, ESC and flattened pitch props. You can actually see how it's flat pitch versus a normal curved pitch. And basically, that allows for it to be able to be efficient in both directions. And we have our flip multi weave board. It's only $20, so you can get it on White Spy. Um, basically, it allows for you to flash whatever script you want. And we have it loaded with a special type of multi weave 2.2 script that basically allows for inversion. Fighting Wallace Radio is um, a made for iPod device that allows you to connect your iPhone or iPad up to your personal drone such as your quadcopter or our duplane. So you have a portable interface with touch interactivity so you can zoom the map, pinch to zoom, everything you're used to on an iOS device. You can see the artificial horizon changing in real time. You also get data such as your battery voltage and other information. One big advantage of moving to the iPad and the iPhone is the network connectivity. It allows you to not only connect from here to your drone but also over cellular to other people who are flying drones or can watch your drone being flown around the world. And I'm a glass blower, so I started making these little Hubson conversion borosilicate um, frames for these quadcopters. 100% glass. Um, this one has a little carbon fiber canopy I put on it. Well, let me tell you, it's not fun to fly the glass quadcopter. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's super stressful. Our lines were developed originally for GoPro cameras and the wide variety of accessories that GoPro has and the number of cameras that they have in their cases. As we developed this particular line, we found that there were people that used the GoPro camera on their uh, Phantom copters and additional copters that are available out there. So from there we developed the Phantom case for the product that as it comes directly out of the package from DJI a cavity for the original radio, the charger for the copter batteries, six extra battery spaces, wall charger for the GoPro, and a cigarette lighter charger for the GoPro. Because the case is very compact, we want to make sure that the props don't get caught in the valance. Therefore, we put in prop chocks in order to lock the props in position. Oh, I just took four EDFs and uh, put them on a frame and uh, found that it really works quite well. They're a little bit heavy. The battery, is, uh, battery life's not what I'd like to see, but it, uh, it does pretty good. I get about five minutes on a, on a 2600 milliamp 6L pack. Flies real docile. Um, awesome yaw. All the different directions work good. Um, did the Avatar with ducted fans. That's another one that flies real docile, flies really nice. Yeah, it uses the rotation of the EDFs for yaw control. And that takes the uh, yaw control mix out of the, the motor mix, and it's a lot more stable. Oh, it, it'll take any flight controller that's, that'll, that'll do a tricopter. It thinks it's a tricopter, it's just these two servos are linked together like you do your ailerons. Well, this is a hybrid uh, carbon fiber frame that's foldable. Uh, we've modified it for military and law enforcement applications to be a heavy lift aircraft for uh, surveillance, inspection, reconnaissance. Uh, we've got a little telephoto lens uh, camera package on it, a uh, parachute recovery system in case it uh, fails at high altitude. You can at least deploy it and save most of your expensive components and also get a good visual on where it fell so you can recover it. Well, we created the integrated operator control unit that has the monitor and a digital recorder on it. But we also realized that maybe a tactical commander uh, wanted to be off to one side or in another location. 
to observe the action, so we created a standalone remote observer unit that uh, the tactical commander could move off to a different distance or we could even plug into different systems and they could observe the action and make uh, command decisions from there without staring over the shoulder of the, uh, the pilot or the operator. We determined that um, batteries are the, the, the weakest link in the whole system, so we've uh, identified that to put a lithium ion battery pack on here with enough uh, power density that would power the entire unit, the DVR, the monitor, the video receiver, and the radio control system for several hours without having to change batteries. But these are quick change and quick charge battery systems. This is uh, it's a thin shell monocoque airframe for multi-rotor aircraft. It's a vacuform polystyrene. Uh, the motors are enclosed uh, here in the motor pods at the end. It can fly in any kind of inclement weather. It can't do water landings because um, I allow for venting of the, the air in the frame uh, just here. Um, this frame with a four cell, uh, 2217 size motors and 30 amp ESCs and these 1045 props have gotten 16 minutes of flight time. Um, that was just hovering, but it's hovering in probably 20 mile an hour wind. All right, well we sure wish you could have been here with us to see some of this interesting stuff. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, and uh, fly safe. There you are.